Hello everyone, class 7, I am Rashid Khan from Lakshmi Prasad Memorial, Public School, Gula Bazar, Gorakhpur. Student, we have to discuss on the topic that is the chapter number 16, Water, in which we have discussed uh, at least the assessment and exercise. <coughs> so here we have to go through the remaining portion of the question and answer given on which we have to write down the question number 3 which is given as give the reason for the following question number 3 long answer long question answer in which question number 3 is give the reason give the reason for following this Give the reason for the following. What are these actually? Here is given as put a layer of mulch that is a leaves, bark, etc. around the plants and trees. Why we have put it a layer of a mulch? So we can say. Due to having mulch that is leaves and bark of a tree, due to having mulch around the plants, around the plants and trees this provide this provide minerals and nutrient and and can trap and can trap moisture present why because if we have tried to go so due to having uh, mulches that is leaks and bark around the trees and the plants these provide us what actually mineral and nut mineral nutrient and can trap the moisture from the environments too. This can also trap the moisture which is present in our present in our earth. That's all about the answer number one. That is A. It is what actually A. So we will have to try to solve the question number B, which is given as the water, water the plants before the sunrise and after the sunset. Why this is so? This can be of watering the plants before and after before the sun rise and after the sunset 
because due to heat for due to heat of the sun water get heated and transmit and transmission happen transmission that is transpiration so they are be watering the plants before the sunlight and after the sunset why because if it is get heated so the heat can be a reason for the evaporating the plants as evaporating the water are transpirations happen that means the water get evaporated and there will be the transpirations happen due to the loss of water can cause the next one is answer number c answer number c is here C given as drip irrigation helps in the conserving water. So what we can say? Drip irrigation is the method of. The drip irrigation is the method of irrigation in which drip irrigation is the method of irrigation in which it is a method in which the water will get supplied. only to a specific a specific spot that is site of the plants and plants plants and parts of the plants plants and parts of a plant only plant and parts of a plant only so the water which gets Overflow or which is false extra to the field can never lose. we can conserve water we can conserve water by drip irrigation so this is the answer of the c now we'll have to move on answer number d
so the answer number b will be <coughs> d in spite of a huge availability of water on the earth it is not enough for the human consumption <coughs> so we can say in spite of in spite of huge amount of water in spite of huge amount of water huge availability of water huge availability of huge availability of water the on the earth huge availability of water on the earth huge availability of the water on the earth it is not enough for human consumption because it is not enough for human consumption because approx approximately 70 sorry approx 97% of total water bodies consumption this is not fit for the human consumption and this is all about the from given questions now we'll have to move on complete the flow chart complete the flow chart so in which first one is here some of the boxes are given like first year and this one here is one given here like this and next one is here 
so what would be the exact criteria that one is called as absorbed absorbed this one is called transpiration that can said to be what actually this is called this is called condensation next one is here is rain that could be the result of this rain and So what will be the exact we can feel in them. So here we have to know about after getting the trans transpiration the water may form the water droplets. Water drops and these water drops are condenses to form the cloud. By the clouds, there is a rain happen in the form of a precipitation. Then this rain moves to the ground in the form of water table. This water table is what actually uh, this can be of water table and that is absorbed. This one is absorbed through the plants absorb water so the plants get water and this plant evaporated in the form of a transpiration so this water get connected in the form of a water drops then water drops condenses to form the cloud and cloud uh, may present over there and then the water come into the ground in the form of a rain so the rain water is seepage to the ground that is in the form of a water table or as a ground water. So this is all about that flow chart A. Now flow chart B. Flow chart B is what actually here is something to be given as like what actually plants land plants lands animals animals next is life and then crop so here is given something that has to be filled what are these actually? How we can fill it? This can be fulfilled by what plants get dried are dried. Dried are to dry due to the what effect of water scarcity. Effect of water scarcity. What will be happen? There will be plant dioxide. This can be heated. 
that one is dye and you get dye loss of all life crop get fell over crop get fell over this is all about the